to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. It will take an average of 45 minutes or thereabout to travel from Uyo, the Akwaibom state capital, to Aba in neighboring Abia state. But that was what it used to be in those good old days, when the Uyo Ikodekwene Aba road linking both states used to be motorable, and motorists and other road users used to enjoy such interstate journeys. And the drivers then would go on such trips again and again and make gains which were not lost to wear and tear of their vehicles. Age has indeed caught up with this one and only road linking Akwaibum with the commercial city of Aba. Relations between both states date back to colonial times when merchants or traders from both communities used to cross over to each other's territories either on foot, bicycles, motorcycles, and very lately motorcars to buy and sell their wares. Such bilateral relations resulted in intermarriages up till today. This was possible because of the proximity of both states and the good roads that used to link them. All that is history as the road has gone from good to bad, and from bad to worse. This single-lane road traverses about seven local government areas, namely Uyo, Itu, Ibionibum, Ikono, Abak Ikodekbene, and Esienudum. This makes it a very important road by every standard, but surprisingly, it has been left to rot and has not received attention of the federal government, which originally owns the road, nor successive administrations in Akwaibum State. The inhabitants recount their sufferings. Um, the road before, the road now it's not good. Before, before it was good, okay. but now it's not good. Okay. What do you think has made it to be bad? And what makes it to be bad is no repairing, no caring of it. Well, the bad of this road, the road makes us to be very, very frustrated in the business. Yes, and we believe if the God grace they make the road, much of the suffering that we're suffering will stop. Yes. Right from Ika to. Here, there was no road before. The Coloma road was very poor. We used to swim the water and pass through. And now, but this time around, our governor entered Babio. The road has been so much. The network is so excellent. So we need dualization, more network. Because <laughs> I did not keep it because you because Abba, you got a penny get. So you can't keep it. You focus on. So you get penny on the phone. You pass it. You want to see 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 it. You want to because 
We spoke to a couple of others still on the deplorable condition of the road. We gathered that so many lives have been lost as a result of accidents on the bad road, while several others have been maimed as a result of injuries they sustained from accidents also. We have been encountering a series of accidents. So one of the important things that will help us to cope the number of accidents, in short, if we do arrest the road, we will operate in an environment that is accident-free. Because the realization will cause the people who are going straight to know their way forward and those going by the left-hand side to know their way forward. Especially, uh, we can see the environment. The topography is not very fine for business, but when we realize, we know the people, the students, and those who are doing business here who have enough environment to operate on. The social, so economic importance are so, so many. First of all, you know, when um, a road like this is dualized, it's um, a kind of development. And because of that, it then dears people to that side. And so activities in that place is going to be in a double fold. It will foster people coming, and the place will become popular. And then when a place is dualized also, a lot of people who are scared coming around there, it's not okay, accidents and the rest. So all those things will be abated because that road will be purely possible for people to go to and fro without any problem. So social activities can go on. Economic activities will double. So it's a welcome relief. Well, uh, I feel very excited. As a student of Aquarium State Polytechnic, I think uh, the dualization of the road Will, uh, will ease a lot of uh, accidents uh, we have been witnessing before. I thank uh, the Governor, His Excellency, Chief uh, Godfrey Lakbabio for this uh, wonderful gesture. Uh, we say as a student on behalf of the uh, National Association of Econo Students, I say may his name be praised. Uh, God will bless him so much for us. We make this road to be in two or three diversions and it will be very okay. Around seven, from seven o'clock in the morning to this time around, you see the big, um, uh, the big motors, the long vehicles. When they are passing, as these people are just back in the sky. If two of them, if one is coming like this and this other one is coming like this, the both of them will pass the that there will be uh, an accident. And some of the students, they have been having some uh, serious accidents. Like the last time we have had, this last one, one of our colleagues is now in the hospital. They had a, 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 a very bad accident that and it has destroyed our land. For everything you've always wanted to know about Aquaibum State, the highlights of the uncommon transformation, in information about government ministries, departments and agencies, programs and policies of the state government, multimedia resources about Aquaibum State, political structure, the history, the geography, the economy, the people, the culture, the opportunities. Visit our rebranded website www.aquaibumstate.gov.ng Aquaibum State, online. Real time 247. The road was narrow despite being a gateway or what could aptly be described as a trunk A road. Heavy duty vehicles used to find it extremely difficult plying this road. This also rubs off on smaller vehicles which get trapped whenever the heavy duty trucks are involved in an accident. But the good news has come. And the story of the inhabitants of the entire stretch of the road, the motorists and other road users, has also changed. There is smile on their faces as their burdens have been lifted off their shoulders. Dry bones, as they always say, have risen again. With his Midas touch, Governor Goswila Pabio has taken the bull by the horn and is reconstructing this once neglected road from Uyo right up to Aba. The governor roads and obtained permission from the presidency to construct the road holistically from a single lane road to a dual carriage road. Sweet, 
Construction of the Uyu Ikodepen Federal Highway started a little over one year ago. But part of it came with the concentric flyovers built to decongest traffic expected to accumulate from the ever busy road when completed. The flyovers, which were named after President Goodluck Abele Jonathan, were commissioned by Mr. President during one of his many working visits to Akwaibom State. President Jonathan further gave presidential seal to the project during his campaign rally to the state recently. So this state is definitely a great state, but still, until Akwaibom came on board, the idea that Akwaibom was the land of promise was like a mirage. I quite didn't even believe. But when this uncommon governor came on board with us, common transmission. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It became very clear that Aquarium State is a land of promise. Oh, yeah. Today we are here for this campaign in a stadium that has been declared by FIFA as one of the best stadiums in the world. Thank you very much. Is not is that not a promise fulfilled? Others have used more than ten years to do one stadium. Only two years. If you come and drive around a Bible, then you know that this is an example of a PTV government. Oh, yes. Thank you. Will surely make every Aquaibon son and daughter happy with the government. Abba Road. We will emphasize that, uh, emphasize that when we came on board, only about 5,000 kilometers of federal roads out of it and 5,000 kilometers of federal roads were paved. 30,000 kilometers of federal roads were on motorable. We have rehabilitated 20,000 within these four years. The remaining 10,000, including this road that the government mentioned, is among the 10,000. It's a small fraction of that 10,000. Thank you. So if we were able to do 20,000 under four years, the remaining 10,000, including this road, will be rehabilitated. Thank Work on the road project is progressing at tremendous speed. The contractors, Jilos Beja, have gone really far and have also deployed more personnel to deliver the job on schedule. Edworks and stone basing and even asphalting are going on simultaneously in some sections of the road. Even as some sections, notably from Itam through Ibionibum to Ikono and Abak, have been completed. Governor Apabio speaks on why he chose to construct this road and other roads in the state, whether state or federal. I knew that we had a covenant with God. We also had a covenant with the people. And so we set about trying to ensure that we met the aspirations of the people. Looking back, I feel very excited because first, we have been able to create the infrastructure they have been yearning for for years. We didn't have good roads, but today we have turned over 300 roads. We have intervened even in federal roads in the state, what we call federal roads, yes. are roads that are meant to be done by the federal government and not by the state. But we had to because our citizens trespass those roads on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And the accidents that occur do not occur on, to federal staff, but rather to our own citizens. And so we intervene even with federal roads. And we have gone by a thousand kilometers of yes. roads. An official of the Ministry of now, Works, Engineer Echo, threw more light on the project. Rio Ikori Pene Road is one of the corridors that is going to, or that is opening up the state you know, to the outside uh, wall, to other part of the country. And the length of the roads is 25 kilometers dual carriage way. And if you want to change that to single carriage way, that would be 50 kilometers. 
yeah with uh, concrete drains on both sides with street light from Uyoti Korepene and with a flyover at the control post that's toward the end of the of the of Ikorepene end of the road and uh, you know the standard of a uh, road built by his excellency like people used to say he does not play politics with um, roads that road is one road that is very very close to his heart and it's very very important for this state because it is the roads that open up the state you know to the outside world uh, it is uh, designed um, to have a very high standard you know i you can only compare that road to road in abuja outside abuja you can't find that kind of road because right from the you know well compacted subgrade you build it up to the uh, base course of 200 millimeters and after the base course you have two binder courses which is very very rare to have such a road and with a binder course you now have a wearing course of 50 millimeters so it is a very very high standard road and quite uh, expensive in this part of the the country houses on the right of way in Ikwadekmene city center have been marked for demolition to make way for commencement of work in that access. We are right here at the entrance of the Akwaibom State Polytechnic Ikorosura in Ikorekbene local government area. The institution is located on the ever busy Ikorekbene Aba Road. Some of the students we interviewed told us that a number of them have lost their lives to road crashes as a result of the narrow road here. They express appreciation to the Apabi administration for embarking on the dualization of this road, which will save them the uh, hassles of uh, getting involved in road crashes on a regular basis. A few kilometers from the polytechnic is Nsasak, a very busy community along the Kodekwenaba Highway. Here we were met with forward looking and enthusiastic inhabitants who told us that their economic fortunes nose dived following several years of dilapidation of the road. They are very happy that Governor Pabio's administration has come to restore to them what they lost over the years with the dualization of the road. I'm very, very happy because uh, my mother at home, all the women in the village, they are very happy for the road network, the dualization. My own mother of 80 years, She's very, very happy. He said, any place, if they can allow this governor, Akbabio, to stay here, even for more years, it would have been better for them. But since he has a successor, uh, somebody who is coming through him, that that person should go on. Because Akbabio's administration is too much. We have never seen, ever since we were born, we have never seen. Well, uh, I should call it, this is one of the, the benefits. That is one of the... Uh, what was that? the dividends of the uncommon transformation we are experiencing in Aquabo State? Uh, government dualizing this way, it will really give uh, the, the motorcycle men a free landing access into our school without any traffic jam. First of all, the one and important thing is this road is always so dangerous. Accidents, like students dying, students being hospitalized because of the bad road. So I, I am very glad, I'm so happy, like, in, as in still a student of Ikora Suda, I'm going to witness how this road is going to be reconstructed. So I'm so glad. Well, uh, it has uh, so much, so many uh, economic importance uh, because uh, this road now is linking uh, with uh, the Abia State, our Abia neighbors. And uh, with the dualization of this road, uh, we will have very free access to the Abians and uh, we'll go in there, purchase whatever we want to, in terms of business uh, uh, transaction. We'll go in there, buy whatever we want to buy, come here, sell, and the Abians there will, will, be, will get access to us uh, easily. Um, I thank God that I'm alive to see most of these good things. You know, most of these things you see them when you get out of state. I don't mean before now. So before now you see most of these things like uh, dualized road, uh, four lanes, flyover. Uh, you see them outside in the places like Lagos, Abuja, and so on. 
now that the state government is dualizing this road to Aba, I think it's a welcome development. And you know, if you know how busy this road is, is this is like a gateway to Aquaibum State. So dualizing this road to Aba now will open up Aquaibum for more influx of uh, vehicles so that most of the accidents we used to have in this road will not happen again. This was not how the road were before, but at least for now I've seen that he has done a very great job. The road from here is very, very, is very in, fact, in fact, it's doing well and the road is very, in fact, the, the work over here is going very smoothly. It was free actually, but I think by the time they finish it realizing the second lane, I think it will be better for the motorists. Yes. For someone in second lane number one, for first in history, because I guess able to go to the 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 road has been completed, it is all joy and appreciation to the Apabi administration for what they term uncommon development of the state. Well, when I came, I didn't see a road like this before. Okay. How was it that time? It was, you know, it has some uh, gallop and okay. And Now tell us how you see this road now. Well, I thank uh, Excellency, God's will, gov our governor, God's will, Ababio, because this is a very nice road. This is the first time for me to see a road like this before. I thank him for making this because he also including us that are staying here. So he can, even though if I want to travel from here now to Aba, instead of uh, taking some like two hours, I may go like 30 minutes before I go come back. But I so much time call for our own uh, His Excellency Governor Coswell Akbabio because uh, since uh, uh, he, he is a governor, since he is a governor, then this road, uh, they, they repair the road and they do many, many things. And I say may, may God bless him as he repair the road for us in Jesus' name. The public have repeatedly been assured that work on the Uyo Ikotekbene Federal Highway will be completed before the terminal date of the Apabi administration. The percentage completion now, I think we have gotten up to 50% completion. Now, if you take aside the fact that we are still going to work on, at the, uh, on the flyover at the end of Ikotekbene, so I think we've reached about 50% completion now. That the administration pays so much attention to this road can be understood. It is a major gateway in or out of Aquaibum state and one which depicts what the other parts of the state look like. The quality of work done on the Uyo Ikotekwene Aba Highway is of the highest standard, one that would last for a very long time to come, according to experts. The flyovers, aside from checking traffic gridlock on the ever-busy road, add to the statics of the capital city. Development of the state has been unparalleled under the watch of Governor Goswila Pabio. Every section of the state has something remarkable to say. He is truly the uncommon leader. This, indeed, is uncommon transformation on common transformation television series brings to you the latest information of the monumental achievements of the governor pabio led administration follow us on facebook twitter and youtube to read the latest news watch amazing videos and listen to in-depth analyses and interviews with the men and women working hand in hand with stakeholders to make a quibum state better you can also log on to our website www.uncommontransformation.tv for more information on Common Transformation Television Series, bringing to you the right and current information when you need it.
Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. 